I give the meaning to this lesson, we're going to discuss statistics to number eight. We are told that uh, the following data represents the age seniors at which pupils were admitted into standard four in a local primary school. So we have 12, 10, 9, 11, 13, and 11. Calculate the standard deviation for the ages. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to share the link with friends. So for us to calculate what we are calling standard deviation, we are supposed to get what we call variance first. And for us to get variance, we need to calculate the mean mass or the mean age for these students. So we can begin by getting what we call the mean. If the max are let to be x, so the mean of x is abbreviated this way. So we're going to add all the ages, 12, 10, 9, 11, 13, and 11 again. So these are for six pupils. So we divide by six after adding. Therefore, when I get the sum, this is going to be 22, then uh, 31, 42, then uh, 55, 66. So 66 out of six give us 11. So 11 years is the, the mean. <coughs> after this, we are supposed to calculate what we call the deviations the deviations so there's what we call deviations d which is gotten by every minus the mean yeah the difference between every age and the mean that is what we're going to calculate now so when we check 12 minus the mean we are getting one when we take 10 minus the mean, we're getting negative 1. When we take 9 minus the mean, I'll get negative 2. 11 minus the mean, I'll get a 0. 13 minus the mean, I'm going to get 2. 11 minus the mean, I'll get a 0. So this is what we call deviation. When we take every value and we subtract it from the mean, now, after getting the deviation D, we can calculate what we call the mean of all the deviations squared. And that is what we call the variance. So we get variance first. We get variance first. So variance is abbreviated S squared. And we obtain it by getting the mean score of all the deviations squared. So we divide by the total number of pupils. So we're going to get 1 squared plus negative 1 also squared plus negative 2 also squared plus 0 squared plus 2 squared plus 0 squared again, then out of 6 pupils. So this the mean score of all deviations squared, the average of deviations squared gives us what we call variance. So 1 squared becomes 1, negative 1 squared becomes 1, negative 2 squared becomes a 4, and 2 squared becomes also 4. So we have 4, 4, that is 8, plus 1 and 1 becomes 10 out of 6. So 10 divided by 6 becomes a 1.5. Six, six, seven to four significant figures that becomes our variance. So now, for us to get standard deviation, standard deviation, now we need to check S, which means the square root of variance. So when we carry out the square root, The square root of variance that's going to be the square root of one and two thirds one 
or one point six 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 seven and this becomes exactly one point two nine one point two nine one to make it a uh, four significant figures so this is going to be the standard deviation which is the square root of variance thank you for following subscribe and share